Hi, <clears throat> I'm Steve Perry of John of Violins. I had a request to play, uh, demonstrate a violin here, and I thought I'd put a couple other similar ones in. Uh, this one is a uh, J. Didolo, Luthery Lorraine. There is no date on it, but there's no origin either. It's got a little pencil number, 1377. Doesn't mean anything to me. And it says France on this side, so it was probably exported here, I don't know, 1870s, 1880s. This is a, a violin that purports to be French. This one is French. It, this may be a German violin, according to some people. It's labeled Sylvester and Malcatel, Paris, 1900, number 7. Doesn't have any other markings I've been able to find. It's a very nice violin. It's got very nice shape and everything. It's, a little warmer and broader sounding. And then there's a more German sounding, more modern instrument. This is labeled Heinrich Theodor Heberlein Jr. 1960, Mark Nachherken, which is kind of unusual. Has a number 1006 on it. It's very nice, two piece back. So let's go to the first one, Didolo. It's got, um, I don't see any cracks or anything on it. It's got its corners. It's got a very nice two piece back. Nicely flamed, um, nicely carved scroll with a very small eye. Looks very French. Has a little chip out of the scroll. And the, the finish is crazing on it. I hesitate to fix the finish because well, fixing the finish. What does that do? That destroys the finish. It's there now. I haven't done anything except a quick setup on this, so it, it doesn't really uh, hasn't had any tricks done to it to bring anything extra out of it. It's got the 1 to 20 taper original type pegs, and it's very nice. Seems to play nicely everywhere. It's loud, not too loud. It's got that, got a certain underlying warmth to the sound. And I really like it. Uh, quite a contrast is this Sylvester label violin. Two piece back, varnish is in good shape. Very, very beautiful violin. The edges are highlighted in black, which I haven't seen before. Scroll has a bigger eye. I don't know that this one's necessarily French. It has a faint sign of a wedge underneath the fingerboard, which I didn't do. It's got, uh, well, uh, might have bushings in the pegs, I can't really tell. Uh, I apparently put on rosewood fittings. It does have two repaired cracks through here, but they're nicely repaired. I didn't do that either. I haven't actually done very much to this. Earthy. Uh, note I am not a violinist. I really like that instrument a lot. Um, and we've got this uh, Heberlein, which is very different. Two pieces sending flame. It's got a little ebony horseshoe here. It's a very standard looking, nice German violin. Looks like it has a little repaired crack right here. Just a little tiny one. I did not set this up. This was set up by uh, Glenn Stevens, who used to be in Catlinburg. that 
very, it's got a different sound, more mid-range. Versus the diddle -o. Noticeably, and then the uh, broader sounding Sylvester label. It's, it's got the worst varnish. So there you go. Hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.